we have confirmation from Dana White himself. Leon Edwards is getting the next title shot. It's going to be Kamaru Usman versus Leon Edwards. We don't know the date. We don't know which card it's going to be on. But in Dana's words, Leon Edwards is 100% next in line to fight for the welterweight championship. And with all the fights getting announced recently, it looked like this fight was going to be made. It's yet again another rematch for Usman. Three rematches in a row for himself. He had the Masvidal rematch, he had the Colby rematch, and now he has the Leon rematch. He is just lapping these guys at this point. I mean, Usman is just going to go down as an all-time great. I don't know any other fighter who's had three rematches in a row, each of them against different fighters. He's beaten the top guys of the division, and he has to fight him again because those guys are just simply still the best but at the end of the day it is 100% deserved Leon Edwards deserves his title shot and it's great to see someone like him actually get the chance to go and fight for a belt after doing so much work over the years the man is on a 10 undefeated streak the last time he lost was back in 2015 and the man he lost to was Kamaru Usman so yeah it makes perfect sense even though he didn't beat any top five opponents he beat like two guys in the top 15 or something. His longevity and the fact that everybody else is kind of fighting right now makes perfect sense for him to fight Usman. And for Kamar Usman, he's probably not so much up for this fight. He's of course going to like the challenge. He himself also said that Leon is deserving of a title shot. But this is going to be a big step down in payday. I mean like four out of the last five of his fights have been financially rewarding for him. The only one that really wasn't was the Gilbert Burns fight. And this one's going to mimic that a little bit. So this is all up for the challenge, continue his legacy and pursue to be the greatest welterweight of all time and by being the greatest welterweight of all time that also means he's most likely going to be at least top five greatest fighters of all time i absolutely do see usman winning this fight and it's mostly through his wrestling in my opinion he's going to keep a jab on leon he's going to get him on the back foot even though leon is one of the best counter strikers moving backwards that usman's ever fought at this level leon is just way too easy to back up and once leon gets close to the cage it's going to be takedown after takedown for usman drag leon to the ground control him and land crushing ground and pound but what i will say here is Leon does pose a different kind of threat than anybody else posed against Usman and that is being a guy who is able to fight Usman at a distance while also being superior technically. He's also way more precise with his strikes. He's an excellent counter puncher and that's actually something that a lot of fighters that Usman's fought before are not great at. Most of the guys Usman has fought do not counter as well as Leon does. So it could potentially make any kind of aggression from Usman to be somewhat dangerous and if Usman just throws the right hand out there, he's always going to run the risk of getting countered by a check right hook. But here's the big thing going into it. Nate Diaz rocked Leon Edwards in the fifth round. And Leon showed good cardio, which means the chin just could not take the punch at that time. And remember, Nate's punch landed because Leon was actually trying to counter him with that check right hook. That same scenario could happen with Usman because most of Leon's counter shots are that check right hook. If Usman lands that same kind of punch on Leon, that's going to end in a knockout. From a distance, it's also going to be leg kicks, body kicks from Leon Edwards because how much better he fights at a distance than Usman. And in the clinch, he could be lethal with his elbows and knees. I mean, look what he did to Gunnar Nelson in the clinch. Usman's great at going to the body, but in this one, he should not dirty box too long with Leon. And instead, look to get the takedown as fast as possible and as many times as he can. So the more you actually think about the fight, the more you see chances for Leon to win this. I'm not going to say it's a blowout. I'm not going to say it's one-sided necessarily, unless the wrestling gap is that wide between each other. But in the center of the cage, from a distance specifically, Leon's going to have a pretty good advantage over Usman. And there's some danger in the clinch as well. So ultimately, I do think that Usman's going to win through his wrestling and through his pressure. Keep the jab out there just to mix up the right hand and takedowns. And ultimately, I see Usman winning through a decision. There's a potential it could be a controversial split decision. But I mostly see Usman winning three rounds out of the five. I actually really like this fight. It's more competitive than people give it credit. And I think Leon is actually going to surprise a lot of people in this matchup.